Hey guys, it's been forever since I filmed. I'm just gonna do a get ready with me today. I wanted to just be really easy. I'm getting ready for work. I'll go ahead and film it, kind of explain what I'm doing. If you wanna follow me on Instagram, then you can. I'll link it up here in some area. Also, these are my plants. Look at how cute they are. This one I made from a clipping. I'm really a 30 year old lady. Let's get into it. Um, I already did my eyebrows. It's a lot quicker, looks a little bit more natural. Let's be honest, it doesn't look natural, but like a little bit more natural. Um, but I've already done like my foundation in this area and then done my eyebrows. So we're gonna go ahead and start on the eyes. I'm just doing something for work. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, I prepped my eyes with a little bit of the ColourPop Pretty Fresh concealer. And I also already hydrated. I used the Glow Recipe banana souffle moisture cream. I also have been using a little bit of the e.l.f. poreless putty primer, just like tapping it onto the end of my nose, sometimes a little bit in the middle of my forehead and like right here on my cheeks, just to like smooth out some areas that sometimes don't take foundation as good as the rest. So I went ahead and did that. I also used an under eye cream by Mud Masky. Mud Masky? It's the vitamin infused eye serum. We're gonna go ahead and start on the eyes. I am going to do my eyes first, then the rest of my makeup. I'm gonna go into the Tati Beauty palette. There's a huge mirror and mine is so disgusting. And who knows, we'll use a little bit of everything. I'm gonna go ahead and go into Aura here. Just put some on my brush and start applying that to my crease. So yeah. I am so tired today and last night I couldn't sleep and then when I did sleep my brain just decided it was gonna go on a little trip and give me a little dream ski you know like other people are like oh I had this dream and I saw a friend of mine and we had a good conversation or I was on vacation and it was so good no 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 my dreams are like would you like to have a terrifying nightmare tonight that you'll think about for a week but can't explain to anyone because they won't think it's as scary as it was or like last night, would you like to have a dream that your Mastiff crapped in hidden places all over the house and you just keep finding them with the climax of the dream being that I found a pile in my daughter's bed. So for what seemed like a week last night, I was just cleaning up dog crap that my brain made up for me. I don't know if that isn't like anxiety at like a Bo Burnham level right now. I really don't know what is. I don't think I needed to tell you guys that, but like, I feel like someone needs to know that that happened. I'm gonna go ahead and put this into the crease. I've been watching like a new makeup channel because I feel like a lot of the big makeup channels, all they talk about is like garbage and they don't really explain the makeup anymore. And like, you don't know if they're telling you the truth. I mean, not all of them obviously, but definitely a lot of them. Um, and I've been watching Robert Welsh. And if you don't watch him, he is, so good and he tells you how to do makeup like in a way that not only is digestible but that you'll look good like in every day and it's not just for photos or like in front of lighting and stuff like that and i feel like it has improved my makeup drastically in the last couple weeks i've been like working on that honestly i've just been like putting off filming i think because it seems overwhelming to me like i deal with a lot of anxiety and um some depression but mostly anxiety and filming or like having anything to say is just overwhelming to me like I want to create and I want to um you know have good content and like help other people with questions they might have and stuff like that but the idea of filming something and then me thinking that it's something someone wants to watch is just very overwhelming so I'm trying to get back into it with just like smaller videos like this where I'm just doing the thing and um, I feel like his videos have been really helpful with that where it's bringing some reality into the space. So I have really hooded eyes so I always go like a little bit higher than my lid space so that I'm opening up the area a little bit more. Otherwise when I close my eyes you won't see anything. My daughter always jokes around that uh, if I'm like sitting on the couch and I'm just looking at my phone or something at night and I'm looking down she'll be like oh you're asleep your eyes are closed they're not closed. They're not closed, they're just tiny. One day she came up to me and she was like, hey mom, and then she was like, oh shh, mom's asleep. And I was literally scrolling on my phone. I was fully awake, I was sitting up. So I try to get some more lid space in here because I'm realistic about what's going on. 
I'm gonna go a little bit lower on my eyelid so you can still see that original transition color. Also, please ignore my hair in this video. It is so out of control and I'm trying really hard not to use like heating products and stuff on it, but it's really frizzy right now and I'm just living my truth, you know? This side of my eye is my little lazy eye, so sometimes shadow does cling to it. It's not really so much a blending issue. It's just like that I'm getting old skin. My skin is the consistency of a leather satchel right now. And I don't understand because I am almost phobic of being in the sun, but it has definitely gotten worse in the summertime, which is fun. I'm gonna go into, I'm gonna use a different brush. The first brush I was using was a Morphe M573. And then I have a Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH34. I'm gonna use this purple color Poet. That color is really pretty and it blends really well too. I should have married for money. I really should have. Like they say don't do that, but I'm just saying, like, not big money. I'm not trying to, like, marry a celebrity, obviously. But I am trying to, like, you know, like, target upper management. <laughs> like, has a healthcare plan, but it's not great, you know? Like, I feel like I could have done that. Or, like, the owner of a car wash, you know? This is horrible advice. Don't take this advice. But it would be nice. A dentist. Just, like, a kind of shabby-looking dentist that's, like... Let's just give you all cubic zirconium teeth. That would have been the vibe. I kind of do like my eye makeup to look a little bit like I have an eye infection. Just slightly. People are like, wow, is that a new palette or do you have pink eye? And I'm like, you'll never know. Those are my secrets. Do you guys watch Bailey Sarian? Because if you don't, what a mistake. I don't know what it is about like getting into your thirties that you just start getting so interested in true crime. <laughs> like that's such a fad, but I feel like that's 100% true. Like if you're going to a girl's birthday party and you're like, I don't know what to get her, just get like a season of CSI or something. Like buy her a subscription to something where she can just hear body counts. I don't know what happens, but like you get super interested in it. But Bailey Sarian's page is so good. Not only is she like crazy talented at makeup and you can like, get some cool ideas for some looks, but also she's so funny. And I just like binge watched her show recently and I really like it. It's so interesting. And like, she has such a cool, like artistic outlook on things. And like, I don't know if you like that kind of a thing, watch it. Speaking of mysteries and crime or just mysteries, the other night I came home and it was like, 2 a.m. and I'm coming in and my cat comes to the door. I have a cat that like is an outside cat. She's really loud and annoying and obnoxious. And she comes to the back door and I'm like carrying all my stuff in from work. And she's like all obnoxiously loud. And I'm like, okay, we're going, we're going. I'm like opening the door, trying to get my keys. And then I look down and like the light shines on her a little bit. And I'm, I let her in and I'm like, she looks weird. And then I notice I like, this is not my cat. I'm just, I'm with a stranger cat. I don't know why this cat had such confidence. It was like, no, 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 I live here now. Walked right in. And I was just like, get out of my house, get out. And for a moment it was like really creepy. What a mystery. What a scary mystery. That cat just like, almost when a stranger called me. I guess it was one of my neighbor's cats, but. I don't know, man, it just had such confidence. I almost felt like it deserved to just live here. Like, fine, you must know, crap, get in here. A little stowaway, kinda go around that. Just going very lightly around this. I don't wanna like pack on a lot of color. I just wanna kinda blow this out a little. This is not gonna be a revolutionary eye look. It's going to be a practical eye look in my opinion although this is probably tons of color for everybody else but honestly like the looks I do on my Instagram page I will get done with the look and not feel like taking it off be not because I'm like yeah I want to wear it it's my art but I just don't want to take it off because I've been sitting there doing that look for probably like a matter of hours and I'm like tired of it at that point and I just want to not do anything and sit down or like maybe I want to go to Starbucks and sometimes I will just wear those looks to like Starbucks and it's 
I'm sure that they think I'm insane. Or sometimes I'll just sit outside while my kids are like playing and I'm just wearing like full lion looking look or like full face paint and people just drive by like, yeah, that's totally normal. Nothing to see here. I've also done them too close to the time when I work and had to just wear them into work. I had to wear one that was like a complete uh, like sunset painted across my entire face and I wore it to work. I mean, it went well, everybody was cool about it, but I feel like I've just broken them as people. Like everyone that works around me is just like, yeah, that's normal, we've normalized this. I don't have even eyes at all. It's like one of them is just getting smaller and smaller over time where pretty soon I just won't have an eye or maybe I can get really good at like painting on an eye on that side and I can just keep it closed all the time. But it's like a genetic problem. Like my mom also in photos, it's just getting smaller and smaller when she smiles. Like pretty soon she won't have an eye at all. So it's like weird to be like, soon I will be a one-eyed person and I must enjoy these small eyes while I have them. So I'm probably gonna go into a little bit of the black because I'd like it to be a little bit more dramatic. I'm gonna go into memory. The other day, I'm at work minding my own business as per usual. And one of my coworkers says, a comment about how my haircut looks like Skrillex. I'm not up to date on Skrillex. And I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. You're just being mean. I went down a rabbit hole of looking up pictures of Skrillex for like two hours trying to prove this wrong. It's 100% right. And what makes me mad is I told people I was gonna do this. They knew that I had long black hair. They knew that I was really pale and no one said anything. And now everybody's like, yeah, obviously. And it's like, have I ever had a friend? If you were like, I'm gonna go out and get a haircut and then your friend's like, wow, that's crazy. That's the exact haircut of like C. Buscemi or something. Like, would they not mention that? I would have at least taken it into consideration. Anyone else just watch the Boat Burnham special and then afterwards just go stand in your kitchen for two hours in silence. That's how I felt. It was like amazing and um, so sad and different for him. I used to do stand up a decent amount and I feel like I didn't really like him at that point. I didn't dislike him. I'm just not like a huge fan of like, um, I don't know how you say it, like musical comedy, I guess, or like comedy that involves music as a part of the act. I just like, it doesn't connect as well with me, but like, then I started going back and looking at his other stuff and he's honestly a genius. Like his stuff is really smart and interesting and he's really good at writing songs. And some of the songs in the, the special that he did, I listen to like every day now. I think it's great. And if you haven't watched it, you should watch it. It's on Netflix. Y'all got Netflix. And I know you got that Netflix money. I'm really happy for him it's cool that he was able to make that like in the pandemic and that he was able to be so creative and like use that mindset when you have like depression and anxiety to make something artistic like that and like connect with so many people who were feeling the same thing at the same time what a perfect storm for that to be created that's really cool i swear i still have the cat hair where is it where is it I haven't slept at all so you spend all this time on your eyebrows and then your brain's like dog crap dude just clean it up just just live in this nightmare it's a seven hour dream but i'm gonna make it feel like you were there half your life it's like inception but with dog crap <laughs> can you imagine if, in <laughs> if inception was like not all these deep concepts, but it was just like one day you're cleaning up vomit and then you go deeper into the dream, you're cleaning up dog poop and you go deeper into the dream and it's just never ending dishes and you're like, every part of this is terrible. It's a mom's inception. A mess within a mess within a mess. I use like a deeper purple, I think, like on the inside because it makes no sense. I do like a little random pop of color sometimes where I don't have anything else going on because why not use every color possible? I don't always like to use eyeliner, so I feel like I use a lot of different colors to like shade and deepen and give a little bit of flair without having to always do a harsh eyeliner because I am so like, my eyes are so hooded. 
I don't think it's that necessary. Like, I think a lot of people use eyeliner, but I don't know that it's, like, a step that you really need to. And when I first started, like, doing makeup, um, I felt really insecure that, like, I didn't think that I looked good in eyeliner, but I felt like I had to do eyeliner. It wasn't real makeup. Honestly, whatever you choose to do with your makeup, don't feel insecure about the skills that you have. Like, if you're you like makeup and you like what you're doing and it doesn't fit the standards or the rules of what other people are that you're watching, who cares? Like make new rules for yourself. It doesn't make you any less of an artist or less talented at doing your makeup if you do it in a way that isn't standard for everybody else. If you don't wanna wear mascara or you don't wanna wear colors or neutrals or eyeliner with every look or you don't like false lashes, then don't wear them. That's what makes makeup so cool and like individual is that everybody can choose what they like and it's different. If we all did it exactly the same, there would be nothing to be inspired by. So if you can't do eyeliner, like you can work on that over time if it's something that you want, but if you don't want it, it doesn't make you any less good at makeup to not use that eyeliner. Nobody's upset about it. Just do you. That's been my TED talk. Wear whatever you want, present however you want, guy, girl, whatever, just do it. Because if you do it enough, people are gonna just accept it as reality. I mean, I'm not really in the age bracket of like being this into makeup. And when I grew up, I was not good at makeup at all. And then to be honest, somebody that I worked with was kind of harsh with me about my makeup and made me feel really insecure about it. And then I started like really getting into it and going online and like just trying to better my skills and make that person um, not say anything to me about it, to be honest. And I fell in love with it and I do what I want now and nobody says anything if I come into work wearing full glitter cut crease because guess what I always come into work wearing that they expect it at this point people will mention it a lot in the beginning when you start doing it but guess what after a while it's who you are and they will stop mentioning it it will stop being different it will stop being weird and then the next person next to you like another girl that you work with may end up deciding that she wants to do something cool or artistic or new that's out of the bounds of like what people think you should be doing and you just inspired that person to do that not that I'm like saying I'm an inspiration or anybody but anybody in the arts like if you do something when you shouldn't be doing it and you normalize it for the people around you then it's no longer an issue for the next person you've you've made that step for them and I think that's cool I think that's cool and it's always the people that troll you that are just like nothing. Like later on you look at them and you're like, I have no idea why I cared about what you thought, but I sure did. I like to put a little color up here sometimes to kind of tie in the inner color, give myself more of that alien vibe. I definitely don't do makeup that's like super natural very often. My skin, I like to go a little bit lighter on now, but my eyes, I just, I like a vibe, you know? I like to look like, where is she going? Like a high school theater production or the mall? Who knows? Who knows? It's a mystery. I think I'm gonna go into the Aura glitter here. And I am gonna use a glitter glue, but I'm gonna use the Too Faced glitter glue. Put it right on here, put a little bit on there. That's enough for literally both my eyes. So. Who is she? Someone that's struggling. Anyone else just had the Jeffrey Bezos song stuck in their head for like 10 years? Cause I can't get rid of it. It goes through my head all day long. I'll just be doing anything and just, there's nothing going on in my head except for the Jeffrey Bezos song. It's just playing on loop in the background at all times. It's like the soundtrack to my life now. And I haven't even listened to it since I watched the movie. I don't know what's happening. And then I wanna use a little bit of that black shade and kind of make a eyeshadow line here like I'm doing an eyeliner just to outline a little bit I hate it let's move on all right so we're gonna go ahead and use foundation now we'll do the Estee Lauder double wear stay in place foundation this one is great it works pretty much universally. I've used it on people with oily skin, dry skin, whatever. I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand. Jesus! Okay, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I always start on the outside like this and I kind of press in with this like I would a beauty blender. Start on the outside where it's easy to blend and you don't get like patchiness, especially if you're dry and then work your way in. And also um, one of the techniques that I have learned from Robert Welsh lately 
is not to go all the way to your uh, under eye. Um, even if you have cir circles and stuff like that, if you're gonna wear eyeshadow, just put an eyeshadow under your eye and leave the rest alone because for me, I don't even have a ton of um, under eye wrinkles necessarily, but I do get crepey if there's too much product under there. It starts to look a little cake, not the cake that we want. So I would suggest using less product. The less product that you have, the less there is to bunch up on you. I'm gonna go on this side now. I'm gonna kind of leave the middle area blank until I've got like a good coverage on the outside. And then I'll use the smallest amount um, on the inside areas where it tends to bunch up a little bit more. And that seems to really work for me. The less product that you put on your skin, the less product there is to break down or to look crepey. And people usually layer on the concealer, layer on the foundation. If you use less than that, you have less to look fake. You don't want to look, I mean, maybe you do want to look, you know, very painted on and that's fine. I definitely like that sometimes, but especially when it's hot outside and it's like, maybe you're not 20 anymore and your skin is a little bit more problematic or you have, you know, a little bit more, um, like dry skin, dry patches, texture, things like that. You should try to use less product. I think that it'll really amaze you. Less product, less powder. That's what I've been doing lately. And I haven't put any product on my under eyes. And like, honestly, it's not like right now it looks kind of bad, but it will look fine at the end. And people are, don't know that I haven't used concealer under my eyes. And it looks, you know, long-term, it looks the same. It's not like when you leave the house and you're like, I look so good earlier and then you look terrible. Like an hour after that and it starts creasing, this seems to be better. Use a smaller amount where you're creasing on your noses. I would highly suggest that. I have to tell you guys about the situation I had at work, which will make it seem so much more ridiculous that I wear makeup to work, that things like this could happen. But <laughs> a couple weeks ago, okay, so I work at um, like a bar restaurant that's in like a downtown area in my town, which is like a college town. And we have fights sometimes, like we definitely, do have people having misunderstandings, lack of communication when they drunk, but, um, and usually, I mean, I'm a GM there. So like, usually if something breaks, breaks out, I have to kind of like diffuse it and kick people out or whatever, which I like to be, be honest about it. But, um, so a couple I don't even remember how long ago it was, a little little while back. We're doing our normal, like we have a bar rush late at night. We're um, like setting up our closing stuff. We have a big crowd inside. It's very busy. It's like a weekend. And we have a window by the front of the building and you can see out on the street. I hope I don't get this on my shirt. You can see out on the street and you can see people walking by coming from bars. It's a big open area. It's like the last stop before you get to the dorms. So a lot of times everybody will drink at the bars, then they'll stop and get food. Or um, when we have a bar open, they'll stop and get drinks or whatever right before they go home. And we're open super late. So we always get like the craziest, the drunkest college kids and stuff. So we get a lot of fights and it's almost to the point where like, as long as they're not doing it, <laughs> Not like we're like, just come up here and fight. It's not like fight club, but it's kind of like one of those things, like if they're getting into an argument and it's not in the building, we just try to like maintain the peace in the building. So one night we're working and there's a big window and it's by like our kitchen where they make all the food. And one of my employees says, hey, by the way, there's a, there's a couple girls fighting outside. Is that something we should we should deal with? And I'm like, no, keep it outside, keep it on, keep it rolling. Like as long as they don't come in here, that's not my, I'm not the police. And he's like, okay. And I can't see out this window. I'm like in an area that doesn't face outside. So I'm just hearing his word from it. And then 10 minutes goes by and he's like, oh, another dog crapping in my yard. It's like the Mecca for dog poop around here. Is that why I'm dreaming about it? This dog needs to go to a vet. Anyways, so then 10 minutes goes by and he's like, they're still fighting. And I'm like, what? It's been 10 minutes. Like what, what, 
How? That is so long in like a fight situation for them to still be fighting. Anyway, I'm gonna use a little bit of concealer while I'm talking about this. I'm gonna use the um, NYX Born to Glow Radiant Concealer. Anyways, so as I was saying, um, so my husband happened to be there visiting me at work and uh, sometimes he'll come up there and like drive me home or whatever. And so I walk around the counter and I'm like, I guess I need to go break this fight up. Like it's went on for so long, someone might legitimately die. I'm not laughing about that, but like 10 minutes is crazy. 10 minutes is like, you should be paid and you should be in a ring at this point. Like you have a career ahead of you. But I go outside and we walk through this like long hallway, get through all these people. I have to be like, move, move, move. I gotta get outside. And everyone's looking out the window and it's a crowd of people. And so I walk out the front door and I kid you not, that I walked into a full war zone. Like, it wasn't one fight. This man drastically underestimated and like did not tell me what was going on. It was 40 to 50 people all brawling. Like, you know those old Western movies where like one guy smashes a bottle over the other guy's head and then every single person is fighting, they don't even know each other? That's what it was. And I'm like, what is happening and i can't go back in the building because there's literally people fighting behind me on the ground as soon as i get out there so i'm out there i'm in it so my husband goes into the parking lot next to my work where there's more fights it was kind of like a separated situation where the women were fighting where i was and the men were fighting where he was and i'm just like grabbing people trying to like break them up and everything you know whatever and my husband's like a very calm kind person like way more kind and understanding than I am I'm like knock it off you know I'm giving him the mom voice hard I'm like keep this crap up I'll find all your mom's numbers but he is like what's going on how did this person wrong you kind of situation and it just got so out of control the things that I saw I honestly can only say that would be seen in an active war zone there was a girl got thrown to the ground and then someone else kicked her in the head and knocked her teeth out. There was hair flying everywhere, expensive extensions everywhere. They were fighting in the street. At one point, a girl grabbed her friend by her front arms and like drug her across the road lifelessly, like to get her out of the road. They were stopping traffic. Um, there was, it was the craziest thing I've literally ever seen. And me and him were like very separated. He was in a parking lot like, a whole business away and I was right by my work and I was trying to stop everybody and I at one point I said you know you guys you got to leave they're calling the cops not like I'm calling the cops because I'm trying to get murdered but I was like you guys gotta leave or you're gonna get arrested and everybody for a second there was like a moment of clarity where everyone kind of was like oh somebody's gonna call the cops we should probably stop right then this girl comes out of nowhere like gladiator style knocks this girl out and then it's all on again so i'm like there's no way we're gonna be able to stop them then i see this girl run up to another girl who seemingly she doesn't know she grabs her by the head and she's like i don't even know you but tonight we fight together i was like no i am out this is not the kind of fight that i can deal with like mm -mm, not happening i saw a girl get her teeth knocked out i don't have dental insurance no way so we're out of there like i'm yelling to him i'm like you gotta leave they have went feral i'm like yelling this across the parking lot and i'm like just get out of there and he's just like also just horrified we saw somebody get thrown out a flight of stairs into another fight i mean there was probably like 15 different pods of fights going on and there was no way to stop them at that point the girl who said that they fight together at one point had like a wrap shirt on and the wrap came to the middle of her and both of her boobies were out. Boobies out, middle of a crowd and she didn't care, they were swanging, okay? She was not concerned about herself or anyone else. And I'm like, no, 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 titties are out, I'm out of here. Like that's, that's the level, if you don't care about people seeing that, and you're gonna be out here using them as a weapon, I can't help you anymore. So I'm trying to like get my husband back in, I'm trying to like chill everything out. They're also coming in and out of the restaurant, like bleeding in our bathroom, just gearing up for the fight. And there's people coming across the street, like look, a group fight, it's on. Running over, joining the fight unnecessarily. It was the craziest thing I've like ever seen in my life. And then the cops finally show up, they send two cops. It's like 40 to 50 college kids just brawling like out of control 
and I go up to this police officer and I'm like, hey, there's a, another fight starting right now at the front door about to start. Can you go at least break up the one that hasn't began yet? And the cop looks at me and he goes, well, there's six fights right here and there's two of us. What do you want? And I'm like, no, you're right. You're right. Like nothing. You're doing a great job. So we go back in to the business. I have to lock the door. I have to let people out the back entrance. Like I'm sneaking them out of like a, a war zone or whatever. And then they break up everybody. They all dispense or whatever. And for like the next two hours when we're doing our clothes, there's just cars like circling the parking lot. Like, hey, you guys find my car keys? Oh, and in the middle of it, one girl stops this whole area of fighting, the one pod of the fight. And she's like, everybody stop. My friend dropped her glasses. Please do not step on them. And then there's like just this small nerdy looking girl like sifting through the rubble looking for her glasses blindly. It was like the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life. And then afterwards, they're just driving by like yelling to us like, you guys, you guys find a weave over here. Do you guys, you guys got phones or is my key here? And I was like, you don't get anything. After that behavior, you don't get anything. Anything you left is ours now. It was like, kill bill whenever they're like you can take what you have left but the limbs that are here are ours <laughs> that's how it felt and it's like why do i do makeup i don't know because honestly if i get murdered in a 50 person brawl then i want to be the one that decides what i look like at my funeral i don't want them this is <laughs> this is such a random statement but i don't want them being like oh she really liked makeup a lot and nobody knows my face and then they get somebody that's like out of a beauty college that just started that's like yeah, i'll give it a whirl and that's what i'm buried in a nightmare i'm not saying i'm better than someone in a beauty school but i'm saying that they don't know these folds these folds are personal they're my folds and i need them to be taken care of properly so that's why i wear a lot of makeup to work and that's the kind of place that I work in and I'm still wearing this stuff. So you know what, you work retail or something, you still wear that makeup because you never know, you might be on the news. I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty Cream Contour. I'm gonna dab that in there a little bit and then I'm just gonna contour. I don't wanna do a really dark contour today. I just wanna kind of shape it up a little bit, go under the apples of my cheeks. Um, I'll do up here. Would you guys like to like have more get ready with me style video? I can maybe tell some stories or like just explain lightly what I'm doing, but give you guys some content from my life, I guess. Um, and if you think you'd be interested in that or that's something cool, you should let me know because I think these are, I was really just psyching myself out for a long time about filming. I just, I got to a point where I never wanted to film because I felt like there was nothing that I had to say to you and there was nothing um, that was interesting enough. My information wasn't probably good enough. I just got really in my head about it. And I think it would be easier for me to just film videos where I'm kind of like talking to you or just telling you what's going on in my day or whatever. And then, um, you know, I could explain my makeup and everything as I go. I would like to just get more comfortable with like filming and being on camera and like kind of talking to myself and talking to you guys that would really help me and like push me to post more things and post more content and you guys would get to know me a little bit better whether that's good or bad uh but if you feel like you would just like to listen to me rant about some things sometimes i would love to do that i would love to uh tell you a little bit more about me i just am not sure like how much how many people would be interested in that i guess so Maybe we could do some story times. There's some pretty interesting stuff that's went on in my life. So maybe you'd like to hear about that. So that's a little bit of contour on there. I went pretty light today. I don't want to do anything like outlandish or crazy. If you move your fingers lower on this, this is something that I learned from one of, one of the Robert Welsh videos too. I Not an ad. What if I was an ad for a person? I was like, you should definitely like this person. He was just sending me like 10 cents every time I say his name. We eagerly await the arrival of Mystic Mountain Blueberry. The one that I'm using right now is the e.l.f. Putty Blush. I'm using the shade Tahiti. So I like to take my blush and kind of start it up high here. And then I like to do a lot of blush. I like to look a little bit like I'm going to a concert in the 80s or like an aerobics class. Or like, is she sunburned? We don't know. It's all the mystery. 
and then I'll come forward a little bit on my cheek, but not like a whole lot. I really like to concentrate it here because I want my cheekbones to kind of pop a little bit more. And I'll really diffuse the edges on that. I don't want it to be like a sudden stop. I went a little bit too low on that, but you know what? It is what it is. What are you gonna do? It already happened. It was a mistake and I made it. The bridge of my nose, cause I think is cute. Some people probably hate it, but I like it. I want people to think I'm fully sunburned. They're like, SPF. No, 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 never heard of her. But I also think it kind of contours your nose a little bit. It gives you a little youthful glow and it gives you a little, little contour without doing anything. Some bronzer. I think I'm going to use the e.l.f. It's just e.l.f. bronzer. I think it's like primer infused bronzer. Since I'm already pale, I like to use kind of a big fluffy brush and just do a sweep. And then I'll do the sides of my forehead. It's right up above my eyebrow. Right here. Give yourself a nice little chiseled jawline. People are gonna be like, what have you been doing, dieting? And you're like, no, I've been eating everything. Why is it so bad to be thick, you know? Couldn't like it. Gives you power. If you're gonna get in a fight, you got that. You got that cake. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit on my under eyes to kind of pull them together. Make the weirdest face you can. I'm just infested with glitter, to be honest with you. It's, it's gotten to a point where there's nothing I can do. Is it worth it to have your face covered in glitter to use it? No. I don't think so. Are you happy that you use glitter today? Not really. Is it gonna look good long term? Maybe not. Who's asking these questions? I think my cat might be puking. Yep. I wanna make sure that people are very confused about the health of my eyes. I want them to think, do I like this makeup or should I stand further away? Is it contagious? Does she go out in sunlight? We don't know. These are all part of the mystery. You ever just doing your makeup and you hear like it's going kind of off the rails and it's not what you thought it was gonna be and then in the back of your voice you just hear Tim Gunn like, make it work. It's like, that show really ran deep with its Honestly, that shit was terrible. I don't even know how to explain it. It ran deep with its uh, objectification of women. Wait, I'm thinking of, this is dumb. I'm thinking of America's Next Top Model, but I was talking about Project Runway. I'm really sorry, Tim Gunn. I just think Tyra is a rude lady. I'm sorry if she's like your favorite person ever, like, you're Tyra Banks watching this. Tyra Banks is like, I just go through the clicks on YouTube and I look for the ones that have five views and that's what I like to, that's the content I'm looking for. <laughs> Honestly, it'd be worth it just to like get a really big page just so Tyra Banks can hear me say like, I don't think you're a good person. And she's like, yeah, I'm not, <laughs> not a very good person. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face with the poor fashion, poor professional super setter. I like to just dead eye it when I do it. I would use one of those little fans right now to dry it, but I ain't got fan money. I don't have fan money, okay? Not even a handheld. This is my fan, okay? It's built in and I'm just living my truth. I've been using the Tarte Shape Tape Glow Wand as like a base for my highlighter. Now you could definitely just use this as a highlighter, especially if you like like natural glowy, is she wearing anything or is she just really well hydrated? I don't drink water. I refuse. I will not accept that that's something that we have to do. I use it as a highlighter base. So then you just use your beauty blender, pat it out. It blends out really nicely. It just gives you like a very subtle, like dewy glow to the skin. Dab it on here. Touch and Soul. Touch and Soul is a really good brand if you like like natural looking glowy kind of makeup. Cool. 
center corner color I want to do is from the Space Age Prophecy highlighter. I'm just going to pat this on the inner corner. It works really well with oranges and like pinks and stuff. And honestly greens too, so nice. All right, I'm going to line the under of my eyelid. So I am going to do my lips, I think, next. I am going to just use a little bit of the Juvia's Place. Hmm. I'm not sure what this is called. It looks like this. It's a like a colored gloss, and this one's in Berry. All right. That's pretty glossy. Pretty glossy, pretty sultry. Okay. Let's put on some mascara. This is good for me for work. <laughs> this is good for me for whatever fight may ensue tonight or homeless person that spits at me. That's when you know you're real and you're doing that working money thing is like, yeah, I bought this setting spray because it keeps the homeless people spit off of me when they come into my work and decide to lose their minds. I don't even work in like a bad place. I work in like a cute place that I enjoy working at and but every once in a while, you know, somebody comes in and they just want to transmit a virus. I was so ready for the masks when they happened. I felt like I was, everything was so private and nice. I mean, they refused to wear them 90% of the time, but also I felt like you could be closer to people, like emotionally closer because those kind of people that get really close to you and like spit when they talk and you're just like, oh, I don't want to talk to you. They would wear a mask and then I was like, well, you know what? We get along. Now the masks are back off. I'm like, I formed a friendship that I, I shouldn't have fostered during mask times. Oh, my cat's trying to get up here. You guys want to see her? She's so beautiful. She's a rescue. And I guess she's obese, but that's none of our business. Come here, Cleo. This is my kitty. Isn't she the cutest little thing you've ever seen? Her name is Cleocatra, and she's beautiful, and she wants to scratch me, but she's not going to scratch me. She's the love of my life, that and these plants. I have kids and a family, but there's some things that just hit different. Oh my gosh, she just attacked me. All right, well, I think this is the finished product of the day. Do you like that? Do you like these poses? That is it. This is the look. I'm sorry I rambled. I'm sorry I had nothing to say. I'm sorry that the look was just mediocre, but I'm not sorry because it is what it is. There's probably only like 15 of you watching this anyway. So I hope that you all have a great day. I hope that you follow my Instagram. If you want to follow my Instagram, I'll post it right here and we'll do more get ready with me soon. And maybe I'll tell you some interesting stories in my life if you're interested in it. All right, I'll see you later. Bye.